Should I take, should, should I move the shirt no. from yesterday? Was the same one? No, it's not necessary. Okay. Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Here's Bayan with Bayan Heno. In this video, we're gonna show you how to repair some uh, concrete floor. Uh, here, we just had to break this floor to put in some pipes, new new pipes underground, underneath. And uh, now we're just gonna repair it. You, when you have the sand compact and the floor compacted, you just put a uh, a vapor barrier poly or a 6 mil poly on top of it to seal the moisture and uh, after that you're good to just pour the concrete yeah here's uh, with the poly we just go underneath everything like here you see we have a we have a wall in here you can see this poly is just continue to the other side so this wall would be protected against the moisture. Yeah, and here we have the extra extra pole right underneath the 2 by 4 in here. You can see there. We have the pole right underneath 2 by 4 so once we put the concrete, you can see my hand, the concrete would go through. And then we have this other piece of pole that would not, uh, the concrete will be not touching the wood. We have a, a, a vapor bear right between the the 2x4 and the concrete itself. And this, uh, you see, is all separate. This is the vapor bear for the wall going around the 2x4. And there is a vapor bear between the floor and uh, the concrete. I'm just gonna make sure that. Uh, I would have this sealed like this right against the pipe like you guys can see like I just gonna put one piece like you see this is a sealed right tight against the pipe that way we just Yeah, and just uh, push the poly here behind the pipe, that way I would put the tape real tight in there. Okay, there you go, just nice and tight. I just put the pole right underneath the concrete in there, the old concrete. The reason that I'm doing that, I want this thing to be real tight. And I would use this, uh, the glue on the old concrete. I'm just gonna use this glue that will help to hold berries, make a better contact between the old and the new that way make a holds better this is help to hold the old concrete to the new one or the new to the old one this is why I have this exposed because I want to do that and I try to seal it as much as we could here we had a, a joint from the pole so you just use the Tuck tape works very good. This is sealed very good. In the drain. Like you guys can see, around the drain is all sealed, like tight to the pipe and the pole. Like, uh, got some time moisture. Moisture is not something that you should play with with damage your house and create mode 
Oh yes, uh, once you're doing the concrete, just make sure that uh, you have all the drain, all the holes all covered. Like this is uh, covered, if it, because if uh, concrete go inside your drain, then it's a headache. In this case, I just using uh, this green tape, because this one would be easier to remove once we're done. It's not a very good idea to use this one because this one uh, is very stick and uh, would be very hard to remove. You guys can see for the toilet there, I just put a piece of poly and tape around it. I just, uh, I just make sure right now that is, uh, I have concrete underneath the old concrete. Just uh, push it in and bang it up. Make sure it's uh, nice and tight in there. Consistency of this, this concrete is uh, we use uh, three parts of uh, sand, one part of cement, and the water as you like, and we use some uh, amota additive that is a glue that help uh, make the it make it stronger. So this is a very strong cement in here. Yeah, so we just, uh, in this part, we, uh, we coat it with the adjective glue, like you guys can see, and then we're gonna mix some more on the cement to do a small part like this. It helps to hold better the new one to the old one. This is how the product looks like. You can see it's too wet in there. In a white, bluish. And then we just, uh, this one is, uh, Pretty done, we're just gonna add some cement to it. I just, I'm here just straighten up the concrete a little bit. And then once it get a hard, we just uh, do another straighten up and be good. I have the line of the wall. I just follow from the old concrete to the line of the wall. I have this wall is level so I know uh, how high I need to go. So you marked it before? Yeah, just following the bottom plate of the wall. You want to see that one more time? The bottom? And the bottom is already level with that side? Yeah, the bottom plate of this wall is already uh, is leveled so I just uh, follow it and make it straight with the other side of the old concrete. No. Nothing too crazy. It's just uh, straighten up as much as I can with the piece of wood and then I go with the trowel. Just to let you know, I'm just gonna take some reference for this. You see, this uh, the concrete is, uh, I would say, about, about there. You guys can see, compare it with the 2x4. So we have about uh, between uh, probably three and three and a half inch of uh, 
cement down here. Try to compact it, all right? All the time you, all the time we tat on it, we bang on it. We just very much compact and it, make it tight. This is why we gotta keep uh, moving on it all the time to make it uh, compacted. Yeah, we use the wood. The wood give us a. Uh, is wider than the trowel, so it would be straighted, straighter with the wood than the trowel. At least we have a good line. But that with the trowel, if you have a good hand, you can do very much a good job. Like uh, you can just run it. But is uh, it leaves some depth on the cement? Have a piece of wood like this. You just grab, grab your reference point. Just remove the mega part. This one here is still a little bit too soft to work on it. It's good when you give like a about three hours, two, three hours, and then you come back and uh, straighten up, it is already start to harden, and then uh, work better that way. And well, once you use the, the wood, are you after that? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, once you use the wood, just, uh, like, uh, if it's something that needs to be finished up really good, just come back after two, three hours, and then you can, uh, do very good finish on it. And after that, what? After that, we're done. Just put a new floor on top, and good to go. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Bayani here, again, it's been about 24 hours, we're back here on uh, our concrete repair, and uh, this is very much done and how it looks, so now it's been 24 hours, this is too soft, this, this concrete is hard enough to step on, but it's too soft to scrape, so if you don't feel very comfortable the way it is with some ridge, you just uh, can grab a scrape or a trowel. Throw it to the camera. Something like this and just... Uh... Yeah, a floor like this is good enough to put like a hard wood on top or tiles or other finish. But if you need something better, so this need to be skin coat a little bit better. In this case, is, this is what I need, we need it here. And here we have the drain, I don't know if you guys remember it. I'm just gonna open it right now, like you guys can see. There you go. Just, uh, just gonna clean up a little bit around it. So, like you guys can see, the thing is locked toward the drain. We have a smoke. Yeah, just to show you guys, this is important to keep it keep it covered because we still have a uh, work to do in here, and I just don't want to mess to go inside this drain yet because we still got a lot of work to do and uh, I just need to have this protected it's very important that uh, 
sand and uh, other stuff doesn't go inside this drain. Light stuff is okay because the water would carry it on, but uh, not heavy stuff like sand or cement. It's, uh, you can see guys here around the pipe, like you guys can see. Concrete is there, nice and tight. We just need to do a little bit of scrape and it's good enough for this uh, this room. See this is the new one, this one here is the old one, I can clean up a bit for you guys to see. There you go, uh, it's just uh, like I said, it's pretty good, like you guys can see it's uh, new and old, it's pretty straight. And uh, beside that, uh, is another thing that you can do if you still have uh, some high spot that you don't like it, you can use a grinder. A grinder and just grind it off. It's a little bit dust, but uh, it does work and make it straight. Yes, uh, guys, yeah. here I'm just gonna put some uh, screws. This concrete is still soft, so screws work. The reason I'm gonna do it is because I need to cut this door plate. Usually, yeah, usually you use pins to put on the hard concrete, but this one is still very soft, so I just not want to, to do it right now. I'm just gonna put some screws, would go through the wood, through the concrete, would keep the wall in place, because we just had the, a foot to by four in there, and the plate just goes straight with the door to keep it on, on place. So right now I need to cut this guys, that way I have the concrete. Yeah, this is, this is just a uh, old time 12 volt dual screw gun. Nothing crazy, right? Yeah. I just have it kicking around. It's still working good. For many years, battery is too strong. Yeah, this is a doorway. I'm just gonna cut the plate. After we cut the plate, we check how is the concrete. We need to keep it all one level. So, let's see. This is the. Uh, I'm pretty much use a old blade because this is gonna cut the concrete. So. Looking good guys. You can see there's a little hole there behind the pl bottom plate. The pole got stuck and then they let, they let the concrete go all the way down. So this is what we're doing here. We're just gonna remove all this stuff, do a little bit more repair and we're good to go. And this is what it is. I, it's cement is too soft. So. gonna clean it up, vacuum it, and uh, add a little bit of uh, cement to those holes, and uh, we're good to go. Okay. Yes, guys. Like you can see, uh, uh, <laughs> like you guys can see, the concrete part, concrete repair is done. Looking good. I'm happy with it. We just gotta do like I say, like a little bit more repair, and we good to go. And uh, thank you very much, guys, for watch this video. And we have a great contest coming up. Keep your eyes open. And if you have any question about the concrete part, let us know. Or any other question about any video that we do, just let us know. Make your comments. We love comments. 